Okay, so one of the things I really couldn't wait to do with my new Insane Audio JK2001 is install an app that would allow me to view my action camera. I currently have a Wasp Cam. It's their 4K model. It's right here. And it's a really tremendous little camera. So what I have done is I have turned the camera on. I have enabled the camera's Wi-Fi. And you can't really see it all that great but my password is displayed there. And once the app is installed on my JK2001, I can launch the app, link up to the Wi-Fi that's being created by the camera, and I should be able to live view the camera on the radio as well as control the playback and record functions of the camera. Now this is especially great because I mount my Wasp Cam outside my Jeep right here on this little pedestal that little platform right here is where I mount my wasp cam so I don't want to be taking a hand uh, off the wheel to reach over and grab it I can simply just touch my screen hit record and away I go and I'll be able to uh, easily turn my camera on and off Okay, so right now my uh, system is working. I've got my Wasp Cam uh, creating a local Wi Fi network. I've got the Wasp Cam sitting right here on my dashboard. And down here, I am running the Wasp Cam app and it is displaying the output of my camera. See what I mean? So from the screen, I just hit record. And you can see in the upper right hand corner here that it now says recording and I have initiated my camera. It is making a recording right now. If I hit the button again, it will now stop recording. So that's pretty awesome. I have the ability to switch it to a still camera and have it take a still image, which I just had it do. Um, so right on the fly, I can hit a still image. And again, this is a function of the app that came along uh, with the Wasp Cam, GoPro, and others like it are going to be very similar. Uh, again, if you're looking to live stream the camera on your screen, your results are going to vary depending on the camera quality and that sort of thing. But you definitely need to make sure that um, the output settings of the camera match what the streaming will allow. As far as my setup goes, I really only care about hitting record, stop, and start. So I could come up here and change my resolution to full 4K, which is right here at the top. And it'll give me a message right now on the screen and says, streaming is disabled. But I still have the ability to hit record. So now I just hit record right there. It says no live streaming, but I am recording a 4K image now on the camera. So again, very, very cool. I've got full control. I gotta hit stop. It, it stopped recording. And now I can go back. And if I want to, I can go back to 1280 by 720. Hit OK. And now we're gonna have a nice clean image, pretty stable and steady with a camera. This is a very cool feature. And that's all.